This show is clean, pretty much. Hey, hey, Mike's Daily Podcast, episode 688. Hello, it is Mike Matthews broadcasting from the last place on earth, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, California. Today, Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster, plus it's the return of my much enjoyed feature into an interview, where today I speak in studio with singer-songwriters Daniel G. Harmon and Kai Alfred Hillig. Mike's daily podcast plus we listen to some of kai's music he does a great job yes you could say he kills it mike's daily podcast that's what i was trying to do was rhyme his last name with that last part and that was kind of tricky Ooh, and there's also some more news about samsung and apple that's not so icky and then i have to say i haven't done a show in what been like 10 days ago yes there was a lot going on last week including mike's daily podcast an interesting uh, situation that happened where i was defending basil the boxer being off a leash mike's in a court daily that was fun podcast i have no lawyer training yeah but suddenly i found that i was a lawyer defending myself in front of a judge and in front of prosecutors, it was crazy. I'll tell you about that later on this week. What else? Oh, oh, <laughs> there was also a thing where my friend Robert Welsh, Robert Owen Welsh, who does the segment Welsh on the World, and he does he hasn't done it in quite a while. We need to remedy that. But he is a artiste, and he suggested to me, hey, why don't we go to a drawing class where we'll draw a model, a nude model. And Robert was touting the fact that oftentimes this model is a woman and that they've had a lot of attractive female models. And perhaps you'd like to draw one, Mike. Well, that idea sounded really appealing to me. This class that has a lot of female nude models that are attractive. It was at UC Berkeley. We get there and I'm setting up and I'm like, where's the female model? And yes, of course, it was a male model that night. And Robert says to me, well, it looks like we've got a male model. I'm like, yeah. Well, at least you get to learn how to draw penises. But I don't want to learn how to draw penises. Oh, look who just walked in. Hi, Ma. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. Hi, y'all. And it's a disgruntled fiddle player tell you what. What? Usually I am against any kind of nudity in public. But I think, Mike, that you could use a couple of classes on how to draw. I've seen your drawings of me, for example, and they ain't so good. I am, It's a cartoon when I'm drawing you. It's not like a real drawing drawing. Yeah, well, it's highly inaccurate. I think I get a lot of the, you know, important parts. The most important part about me is my hat and my lovely personality. One out of two ain't bad. Hey, look who else just walked in. Hello there, Mike. I make the root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Brewmaster, what delicious root beer have you made? I've missed your root beer, and we haven't had one in oh so long. Mike, I made a delicious nude model root beer. Oh, boy. Why is this called nude model root beer? Look at the head on top of the root beer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Benita, the rodeo queen, would you ever consider doing any nude modeling? Mike, I would consider it if it involved a lot of money. Uh Uh-huh. And would you, you know, do it in front of men, or would you prefer only women in the classroom if there was a class where they could draw you? Yeah, no, I think I'd want just horses. Uh Uh-huh. So the last show, Shelly Shuhart gave me a wheelbarrow, which was very nice of her, which uh, all I did was keep the bow that the wheelbarrow came with, the bow on the barrow, Uh, I didn't want the wheelbarrow because I think they are structurally unsound devices that cause more problems than they solve. And Floyd the Floorman took it from me and he put a lot of sawdust in it. And he's using it now in case there's any kind of mess created by humans in the last place on Earth. And I don't know why I am talking like this. Yeah, Mike, you got to loosen up. I do. I do. I need to just relax and enjoy doing the podcast because that's what the, you know what 
doing a podcast is fun, right? This is a fun thing to do. And now I'm kind of regretting not having that wheelbarrow because I would have had a fun time if someone, you know, pushed me around in one. Why are you looking at me? Because you could be the one that's pushing me around in it. That'd be awesome. Come on, Discord Fiddle Player. No. Benita, don't we need to go somewhere? Yeah, I need to start my new drawing class in front of horses. Bye, bye. It's going to be a great job. Hmm. That career path sounds slightly illegal. So Apple and Samsung are giving Truce Talks another shot in an effort to settle their legal differences out of court, according to CNET.com. The two combatants have recently resumed working-level discussions, with the key topic being how to dismiss all lawsuits. Earlier this month, they emerged from another court battle with a jury returning a mixed verdict. The mixed verdict found both companies guilty of patent infringement, and that helped pave an easier road for the resumption of settlement talks. Last week, Apple and Google's Motorola finally declared peace in their own patent wars. Under a new agreement, the two companies have dismissed all patent infringement claims against each other and have agreed to work together in some areas of patent reform. Actually, Apple and Samsung tried to reach an out-of-court settlement in January over the latest patent squabble, but even a mediator was unable to bring the two sides together. Intellectual property specialists are saying that possibly Samsung will do a one-time payment to Apple for past infringements of U.S. design patents. Do you use an Apple or a Samsung smartphone? I see them everywhere. Of course, I'm in the Bay Area and people are so tech savvy here. But these two companies definitely do a lot to make our lives easier. What do you think about them? What do you think about this lawsuit? What do you think about nude models? And painting or drawing them. Have you ever done it? Is it, it, it's, is it something you're kind of like, oh, that's, I'm, put clothes on everything. Email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. We read your comments on the section emails from email. Also, email me there if you'd like to be a guest on the show or if you'd like to sponsor the show. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. And also check out the website, mikesdailypodcast.com, a great place to find links to where to listen to the show in iTunes. Subscribe to the show in iTunes. When I post a new show, you'll get it instantly. You can also rate and comment the show, and that helps us get more notice from people. There's also a link to where to listen to the show on Facebook. There's the Facebook page. Like the Facebook page, and when I post a new show, share it with your friends so more people find out about us. That helps the show out. There's also links to where to listen to the show on Spreaker, Stitcher, SoundCloud, YouTube, MixCloud. We're on Yelp, Tumblr, Twitter, all those links, and the Amazon deal of the day. Click on that and buy something, and that helps us out here on the show. It's all at mikesdailypodcast.com as well as the blog and the daily podcast picture. Into an interview. So this is the very first interview I've ever done where the musician's actually been here in my house. That's not true. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, we feel pretty special then. Yeah. This is the very first time. And, uh, and Basil got to lick one of the <laughs> musicians. And, but uh, actually, we've had Daniel G. Harmon on before. And he's here, but he's back again! Yay! <laughs> just sounds kind of sad with uh, with that many people celebrating. <laughs> that little the, amount of people celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Oh. It sounded like Tom Slick, the audience in Tom Slick. And he goes around the corner, he wins the race! Yay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hooray. And Kai L. Alf- Alf- try to it. Ah. Kai Alfred Hillig is here! Yay! Yay. I'm here. <laughs> the wit... That is so quick between uh, the uh, the two of you. It's just it's it's rapier, and I don't know if I. Pardon. It's it's rapier than what? <laughs> it's rapier. <laughs> it's a, rapier's wit, and I went and saw these guys at the Vortex show last night. You know, I have to tell you, I I recorded people live in studio uh, in the country state when I was working at the country station, and I'd have like Keith Urban, and he'd be sitting there, and and. I would just be like, you're Keith Urban. Oh, and, you know, he was. Mm. He's like, yes, I am. I am. I, I he's am the Australian Peter. one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Watch me and, play guitar and look at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so this reminds me of those days. 
but Daniel G. Harmon has been on the show before. Oh, back to the Vortex Room. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how did the, the your concert start off last night with the Vortex Room? What did the announcer say? The announcer told us, told the audience that it's a quiet, it's a quiet night at the Vortex Room. So he, he just really wanted, he wanted people to be aware of the fact that not only were the musicians themselves quiet-ish, but that he was, had an expectation that the audience would also be quiet-like. And, and if they talk. were not going to be quiet like, to please step out front and die. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I thought that was great. That's that. I and, and it's a small place. Uh, there's a, a, all this cool like what was that weird psychedelic thing where they drop the acid in the water? I don't know, and it's spinning around. The little die. I don't know, but you just gave me a drink. Am I going to get out alive? <laughs> Are we going to have an issue? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. So we have Daniel G. Hartman here, Kai Alfred Hillig, and there's this guy named Brian with a camera. Yeah. What's he doing? We just picked him up on the way down. Uh, this is a homeless fellow that we grew fond of. Uh, yeah. They say if you, you, know, if you, you shouldn't feed dogs because they follow you home. And I think this is kind of a similar uh, situation, but with a human being. Uh, no, no, Brian. Um, I, I've known Brian for a long time, uh, and Dan, Daniel has too. And uh, we decided that when doing this tour, uh, that we really wanted it documented because a lot of the uh, different places we were performing at um, had really interesting ideas uh, as their foundation. Like, for example, in in uh, Oregon and and Salem, or no, in Portland, at the Oregon Public House, uh, it's a nonprofit pub. Oh, first ever! And, they were on the Colbert Report. Really? Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of so a lot of the places we're playing have kind of this interesting bend to them, and a in a kind of an interesting community that surrounds them. And so half of it is a, is of of the purpose of him filming is to kind of document our travels, and then the other half is to kind of is this kind of almost investigation of these different places that are kind of bizarre. It's almost like a travel log, kind of. Yeah. yeah. And sure. we've been posting videos like, and I'm recording all the shows, the audio. Um, so every the next day, it's like a hustle to put find a good audio clip of one of us playing, and then Brian grabs some stills and or some like real quick video, and then we throw together a video to promote and say thank you to the previous night. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, right. It, that's an awesome idea. Who it just keeps people um, kind of invested, and also keeps people interested. And like a lot of times, like bands or or perform or songwriters or whatever will go out on tour and then they come back and like no yeah. one had heard anything about what was going on the whole time. Yeah. But I guess with like Instagram and like Twitter and, and Facebook and stuff. Now you have the ability to really engage with your fans or if, I hate that word, but like the people that like your music and also the venues that are allowing you to play there. Um, or we allow ourselves to play in their places. Let's uh-huh. be honest. Let's yeah, they um, should be happy. <laughs> thank you. And um but they they looked happy last night. It's just a nice way to engage with um like the community that's allowing that's putting the show on and the people that come out cuz who doesn't like to see their face on video usually. Well, and it's <laughs> yeah. a nice way of showing appreciation. You know like it, and it's a nice kind of and it feels really good actually the next day to look back on it cuz there're these nice summaries of the evening. Mm-hmm. So you get to kind of it's almost like Having to getting to click on a memory or something, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's really kind of fun, and uh, a lot of people seem to be enjoying kind of getting to see how we're doing along the way. And they can see that where at uh, on your Facebook? Yeah, we all both of us have uh, music pages. Uh, you know, Kai Alfred Hillig, uh, you know, at Facebook, and Daniel G Harmon at Facebook, and and, okay. uh, and we both post those on a daily basis. But we're also posting them directly to the venue's Facebook page. Oh, um, yeah. The, that next day so like say you were at the vortex room last night and you just happened to go there you would see like the thing that we had said hey thanks here was here's a little clip from last night so the folks that missed it they can kind of see like oh maybe next time around maybe we'll check them out or something. i won't be such an idiot I'll, yeah maybe i won't be such <laughs> we'll an idiot i'll house. go to the vortex yeah, room thank you and be there yeah i, I want to thank you too for being such good sports and sharing one mic and oh, we're used Daniel's to this. got his. We don't arm. mind being close. No, I'm going to be honest with you. It's, I mean, this is it's been a very th- close. Can we take this couch with us? To we may need to sleep on it tonight. Yeah, it yeah. pulls out. It pl- has a pull out. It pulls out into a bed. And yeah, it, it, it pulls out. But I don't. I'm waiting <laughs> for something. <laughs> I, I I talked over that great punchline. Damn it! Listen, I, I'm I'm a good Christian man. I can't I can't be listening to this kind of stuff. <laughs> well, put the mask on. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's, I'm sorry, dog. He's like ba- Basil's like, transfixed by yeah. the by your rapier's wit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I like, I, I like your ears. Th- thank you. Uh, there's, there's a lot of energy bouncing around this room. <laughs> oh my gosh, my pictures popped up on the screensaver. It's gorgeous. That, why? Yeah, those look good. Does oh, that mean it Basil- shut down the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> it's back. Okay, so you guys both are amazing songwriters. Uh, the 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 song, the lyrics I heard last night were just amazing. I was just blown away. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And just you and your guitars. And that's really what what a song is all. That's the very core essence of it, isn't it? Just It's where it starts. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been playing a lot. I was just, I've been t- mentioning this to the, the fellas as we've been traveling. But um, lately, I, I'd been, before we left, I've been playing a lot with my, my band, um, The Current Incarnation. It's kind of a rotating cast of sorts. But, um, but and I, I wasn't, I haven't been enjoying that quite as much. Um, I don't know why, but I, I, I really have been in, enjoying just, getting out there and just playing my songs in a really kind of a raw, immediate way, you know, uh-huh. without anything, without any additional flourishments, you know, without any additional garnishment on it. You know what I yeah. mean? And well, I, I think, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, well, what's the song that changes time? Kind of. Uh, oh, that's just, uh, that's just. That's a, that's Inten- a, intentionally? That's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, that's the, all that's my kind music. of all of my songs. I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, well. That's, that's the closing track on my new record. That song's called Remains of Elephants. Oh. Yeah. What, what, how did that one come? I, should I, should I play the, I'll play the studio version. Yeah, okay. you should play the studio yeah. version. So of let's that set it up. Let's pretend like we're, we're going to talk into that song. Okay. Cool. You, you want me to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, go go ahead, Kai Alfred Hillig. Okay, well, the, uh, this is going to be. I'm going to take this podcast down a little bit of a dark road here. Um, I I uh, so I used to work doing um, used to work doing trauma cleanup stuff. Oh, that's right. Don't you work at a funeral? I, funer- I currently work at a funeral home. A funeral yeah. home. Okay. Um, uh, but but I used to work doing trauma cleanup, so I would kind of go in after after kind of. Uh, horrible things that happen in people's homes or, or like oh, a, man. like suicides or murders or, or things of this nature largely that's what a lot of it was and there was one incident in particular uh, of a guy that had killed himself when his family was home <laughs> and so uh, for some reason so for some reason when I was writing this song I kind of invented what I assumed the rest of his life was around that I see so that is how I kill fun on a podcast. <laughs> no, but I'm the a bro- fun murderer. Hey, Brian, can you give I'm me another one of these? Of <laughs> just kidding. He no. doesn't need another fruit punch. This man's had enough. <laughs> no, but just the, the the lyrics and everything. Let's listen to it now. And this is on uh, your Bandcamp. Yeah, this is off my new record called Real Snow. It's for free on my Bandcamp site. Which is? <laughs> it looks so sad. Which is, what, what's saying? your Bandcamp site? There, Kai G- Alfred genius. Hillig. Well, are you gonna? Do you want? You seem to know so much. It's yeah. It's Kai Alfred Hillig. Bandcamp. Com. Thank you. That's what it is. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know that. Because I wrote it down right here. I just assumed it was. Do your a job, job, Mike. Okay. Here's that looks like hieroglyphics. So I'm going to be honest. Yeah. With you. Come on. You can read that. I hate snakes. <laughs> that was my Indiana Jones impression <laughs> that was brilliant Thanks. for a second there i was like wait wait was that indiana jones it was as if yeah All right, so it's transformative let, so this song should have been in the sunshine cleaning company movie it, it, you know it very well could have been it very well could have been let's play it it's kyle alfred hillig right now singing uh but this is a pre-recorded where he was recording in a studio with who uh, well, I record with my, my friend James Resch. Uh, just the, he's produced my last three records. We just work together in a studio up towards Mount Rainier in Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah, you live like on a mount. I sounded like I, I don't want to become Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, that's great. I heard you live on Mount Rainier. That's awesome. Tell me about that. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about Mount Rainier. Well, it's a big mountain. It's pretty much a ticking time bomb. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. At some point, it will explode and kill everyone I love. You're in the path of the Lahars. Yes. It's coming for you. Oh, so, that's awesome. I'm not. You can run to my house. So someday you, you can, you know, when I when I die and uh, the internet breaks because I'm so important that... Uh, <laughs> that no, someday when I die and the internet breaks, you know, you can play this at you know as a memorial. And, and did I mention it? Did we mention that you guys are both from Seattle? Did I miss that? I don't know if we mentioned that. No, no. Uh, yeah, we... Uh, we're both from the Seattle area. I live in Seattle um, proper, and Kyle is uh, in Tacoma. I see. Okay. And here's his song. 
Yes. On Mike's Daily Podcast. <laughs> Mike's Daily Podcast. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking with Kai Alfred Hillig and Daniel G. Harmon. Why is it the damn L keeps wanting to jump into my mouth when I say your name? because it sounds vaguely German, and a lot of Americans aren't comfortable with it. Kai Alfred Hillig? There we go, yes. (laughs) Now, Uh, something that just resonated in in me. Do you have German... uh, There's some kind of German heritage of some (laughs) kind. Oh, I'm going to totally do a... uh, a But none of them were involved in war crimes. Craig Ferguson ripoff. What do we do with one bell? We speak with a German accent. Two bells? Still German accent. Three bells? Dracula. 
<laughs> Dracula. <laughs> Does he do that? Yeah. He's going to, uh, this is last year. He's really? Gonna set, he's heading off into the sunset. Oh, or TBS. He's amazing. Yeah. He's too. a really good host. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's he's great. I can't. Can either of you do a Scottish accent? No, I can't Rogue? do any accents. I can't even do a drunk girl accent. Oh dang! Uh oh. Uh, are you enjoying the <laughs> my uh, chips and uh, guacamole? Mmm. Oh. Uh, those were made from real avocados. Beautiful California <laughs> avocados. Should we uh, set up? Oh wait wait wait. We're, oh, yeah. we're doing the intro thing. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah yeah. Dump. That this is how that you know what that sounds like when I go sailing and the boom hits me in the head, <laughs> you know, and it, it's perfectly named thing, a boom. And right. that's what it does. It hits you, but it actually serves to catch the wind, spreads the sail out. So the w- boat will move. Hi, I'm your skipper. What's next for Kai Alfred Hillig and Daniel G. Harmon? Future wise. Yeah. Uh, future wives. My, my, my plan for the future is to get so famous that when I die, it breaks the internet. Okay. And that will be a fine day. Is that, it, <laughs> no, is that going to be Lawnmower Man? Not for me. <laughs> like Lawnmower Man when all the phones all over the world start to ring? Yeah, I think I think everything's just going to shut down. People are going to be trying to call each other. Did you hear who died? Did you hear who died? Like that. Yeah. You know, but they won't, most of them won't be able to get Is through. that a song? Have you written a song about that? Like, not yet. And when I die. It, it's, well, actually, I've written a couple of those. <laughs> um, Pretty much everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone's alluding to it. The okay. eventuality. Uh-huh. Because it'll affect us all. It will, I'm sure. I, I can see you kind of in here when you get the news sitting over your desk like, God, he was so young and handsome. And he was sitting Counted. right there. Yeah, he was sitting right on this couch. And you'll never uh, wash this couch again. God bless you. I want to tell you both that you have amazing eyewear. Thank you. Thank you. I, I had LASIK done 10 years ago, but uh, and I'm going to need glasses. You know, it doesn't last forever, but... When I need glasses again, I'm going to consult you too. Do it. I uh, go to the cheapest possible place in the world, uh, zennyoptical.com, <laughs> and you you get full sets of glasses for like ten dollars. Well, part of the thing is that if you're in the Seattle area and you don't have a pair of glasses on, people beat you up and make fun of you and steal your lunch money. Oh, this is but not your glasses. Not your glasses. <laughs> so that's why we're required to wear them. It's mm-hmm. a social thing. If you yeah. don't have them, you get laughed at. Kai, you're going to be playing a song for us now, live, called Together Through It All. Tell yep. us a little bit about this. This is another cheery tale. Um, I, I knew a, a family um, that uh, was kind of uh, torn apart by meth- their son's methamphetamine usage. Oh. And uh, his eventual uh, death from such things. Yeah. So that's what this cheery song's about. Okay, let's listen to it now. Kai is going to play live for us. Actually... Uh, there, this is a, a trick of time because we're actually going to take about 10 minutes to set all this up. But rather than have you wait through 10 minutes of ding, 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 Hey, Internet, want to hang out for a while? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to jump immediately to him playing right now on Mike's Daily Podcast. Tell him we should go for a drive But he 
Says he's got something else to do Steal his father He's still my son His poor mother She don't believe She don't believe that he's gone Hillig and together through it all as we go outside the last place on earth where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast. Somewhere in Podcastro Valley, California, tomorrow the finale of my into an interview with Daniel G. Harmon and Kai Alfred Hillig. And here's today's podcast picture. It is a picture of Daniel to the left of me, Kai to the right of me there. You see a picture of the three of us together there in front of the last place on earth somewhere in Podcastro Valley, California when they came to visit and it was a great time as they continue their tour along the West Coast. We wish them a fun and safe tour, spreading the word of Daniel and Kai. And you can see that picture now at mikesdailypodcast.com. Mark, I'd be happy now to pose nude for you. But I'm not a horse. Your smell would prove differently. That's because I have a lot of fiber in my diet. Tomorrow, the finale of my intimate interview with Daniel and Kai... Plus, we'll hear from Adam Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Greetings.